Hello, and welcome to this video on Introduction to AWS in which we are going to talk about VPCs. However, before we jump into talking about VPCs, I again want to reiterate here that we're going to provide a high-level introduction to Amazon Web Services using oversimplification of concepts for the purpose of providing a frame of reference for you to move forward. So why I'm repeating this again, as we had this slide in the previous video, is one, in case somebody is watching this without seeing the previous video, and I want it to be very, very clear that the way I'm presenting these concepts is an oversimplification of these concepts. And again, it's done just to create a frame of reference so that as you move into our higher level courses, you at least have an understanding or a conceptual understanding of what some of these terms, concepts, and services are so that it will be easier for you to dive into the technical aspects of them. Okay, so with that said, let's go back to this diagram which we first displayed in the previous course. And this is a very common type of diagram that describes AWS architecture. So I just want to simply kind of run through what's going on here and just understand that First of all, here's you or any user, and they access AWS right through an internet connection. So this now here is AWS as a whole, or the entirety of AWS, and then things that are inside of AWS. Now inside of AWS, you have services, you have networking architecture, you have a lot of different things that are going on. So right now we're going to talk about VPCs and what this box here means. So let's just take everything out for now and understand that VPC is short for Virtual Private Cloud. So now what does that mean? What is a VPC? What is a Virtual Private Cloud? And what does that mean for you? So I'm going to share an analogy here. I'm going to use Facebook here to give you a frame of reference for what a VPC is. And again, this is a vast oversimplification, but it should give you a good conceptual understanding. So let's take a look at Facebook. Let's assume here that, right, there's users, it's an internet connection, people access Facebook. And here, here is Facebook as a whole. Now within Facebook, you have your homepage, right? Then there's my homepage, and then there's your friend's homepages, and then there's a million other pages. Now your homepage is your own private section of Facebook where you can do things like insert your posts, your photos, and your videos and if you want, you even have a level of security on top in terms of who you allow to view your post videos or photos, depending on who you allow to be your friend. So your homepage is your own private section of Facebook in which you can put things that are important to you or things that you want to share with other people. But you also have a level of security around it in terms of who you give access to in terms of people that you add to your friends list or even within your friends list, which friends can see certain posts, certain videos, or certain photos. So now with that concept in mind, meaning here's all of Facebook, and then within Facebook, different people have different private sections of Facebook in which they put things like posts, photos, and videos, as well as having a layer of security. So now let's just flip that right back over to AWS and VPCs. All we're doing here is we're swapping Facebook now with AWS, right? So AWS service as a whole, and then there's your VPC, my VPC, and our friends' VPCs. Now within a VPC in AWS, you can put things like Amazon EC2 resources, AWS RDS resources. Now we'll get into what those specific things mean in the next few videos, but just understand that just like your page in Facebook where you were able to put your own items, your virtual private cloud, your VPC within AWS is your carved out private section of AWS where you can put your resources, your files, you know, your things that you want to use AWS for. And just like on Facebook, you can put a level of security over this. So there are ways that you can restrict access and either allow people in to use your database or your EC2 servers, or you can keep them out. So again, this is extremely high level, but all I want you to understand about VPCs 
is that it is your section of AWS that you can put your own resources in and either allow or restrict access. Okay, so let's just recap on that again. A virtual private cloud is your private section of AWS where you can place AWS resources and allow or restrict access to them. So whenever you think about VPCs, and if you can't recall exactly what the concept is, just think back to Facebook and just think about, right, your page on Facebook versus your friend's page on Facebook. You control what goes inside of your homepage on Facebook, and you can decide who has access to it or not. And it's the same thing with AWS. AWS, just think of that as like Facebook, and a VPC is just like your homepage on Facebook. And in, and in AWS, it's where you provision and place your AWS resources. And you can either allow or restrict access to those resources inside your own VPC. Again, that's a crazy oversimplification of a VPC, but conceptually, that's pretty much what it is. So what are we going to move on to next? Next, we're going to talk specifically about these AWS services being EC2, RDS, and S3. And we're going to do that by talking about how a company like Netflix utilizes these resources. So hopefully this will create a great example and frame of reference for you to understand what these resources do and how they're used. For now, that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.